Hi, my name is Dave Hodson from Total 3D Solutions. I'd like to thank you for your recent purchase of the Cinema Pro Med system powered by the Zeiss Cinemizer OLED. Today we're going to learn how to download videos directly from YouTube and put them onto an iPod. This way you can have assortment of different videos for your patients and make it uh, comfortable and easy for them to view. What you're going to need today is a computer that has internet access, you're going to need an iPod, and you're also going to need a sync cable. Now, on the computer, it's important that you have a couple of different softwares preloaded. You're going to want to make sure you have iTunes, which you can get from Apple, and you also want FreeMake Video Converter. This is going to allow us to download videos directly from YouTube. Now, Total 3D Solutions has a YouTube site. Uh, it's titled Total 3D Solutions, and on this site, we have a playlist of unique videos that we've pre-selected that are ideal for the dental practice. This is going to give your customers a lot of choices um, and make it uh, convenient for them in either 30 to 60 minute lengths. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go get a couple of videos to download onto your iPod. First, open up your browser. I'm going to use Mozilla today. Go to YouTube by typing YouTube into the title bar. Okay. In the YouTube search bar, type Total 3D Solutions. No spaces. Total 3D Solutions will come up at the top of the list. Okay, we're going to click on Total 3D Solutions and go to our channel. If you'd like to stay up to date with our recommendations, click on Subscribe at the top of the page. Next, click on the Playlists button. Here you see Tutorials and Cinema Pro Med Recommended Vids. Click on Cinema Pro Med Recommended Vids. You'll have a very long list of videos to choose from here. Plus, we're always going to be updating this list, so you're never going to run out of content. Remember, you can always download your own video finds, too. All right, I'm going to select the first video on the list called The Stone Cutter. I open the video. You can click on either the picture or the video name of the video. The video is going to start playing right away, and I'm going to pause it here. You can watch this if you like, but for our demonstration, we're just going to click on pause. Down below the video preview screen, you're going to see a button that says download. Okay? That will launch the FreeMake program in a separate window. In that window, you'll have the option of deciding the format that you want to download the video in. Since we're using an iPod Touch 4 today, we're going to use the MP4 format. Ideally, if it's available in 720p, we want to select that. Um, if the video doesn't offer 720p, we're going to select the next best resolution, which in this case is looks like 360p. And I'm going to specify where I want the file saved, and I'm going to save it into my videos directory. Okay. I'm going to select one more video for this lesson. And the second video is at the edge of the world. I'm going to click on the video. I'm going to pause it again. and select download. You can continue to select as many videos as you like. The only constraint you have is the available space on your iPod. The iPod I'm working with only has about 8 gigs, so I'm going to be limited to about 30 videos, uh, but it's going to depend on the file size and the number of files that you choose. Uh, now that we have a couple videos to work with, let's go ahead and get them loaded onto the iPod. You can close the browser window now and we're going to open iTunes. Now, I, sometimes iTunes will ask if you want to download a newer version. I usually just close that window. In the upper left corner, you'll see a heading called Library. And underneath that, you'll see Music, Movies, and TV Shows. Let's go ahead and click on Movies. The first thing we need to do is to add the videos we just downloaded from YouTube into our iTunes library. To do that, click on File, then Add Folder to Library. Select Videos. All of the videos that you selected in that folder will be added now to your iTunes library. If you want to just add one or two titles in your library, you can just select Add Files instead of Folder. OK, now we're going to connect the iPod um, to the computer using our uh, iPod Sync cable. So I'm just going to connect it here. Pretty simple, and then plug it right into USB. This generally just takes a minute or so to, uh, to, for the computer to recognize the iPod, and then the device will appear in the left-hand column in the library. Uh, the heading will be Devices. 
Moving videos from your library to the iPod is easy. First, make sure that you're in the Movies section under the library. Find the video that you'd like to copy onto your iPod, click on the video file, and then just drag it over. If you want to have multiple videos, hold the control button down when you click on each of the titles. Then all you have to do is drag those files into the movie heading under the iPod device. That's all there is to it. The files will copy directly onto your iPod, generally takes a minute or so. Make sure that the device is completely synced up, and when you're ready to disconnect it, click on the eject button to eject the device. And that's all there is to it. You're all ready to go. Thanks again for your purchase of the Cinema Pro Med System. This is Dave Hodson from Total 3D Solutions.